let's literally start right there. That's probably a good spot. You know, a lot of people kind of, they don't know how to hold the mallet. You know, it's very similar. It all stems back to the, to the, the basic mechanics of holding a snare drum stick, which uh, essentially is like a matched grip type, type of situation, fulcrum being between your the fleshy portion of your thumb and the first uh, joint on your index finger. Some people like to choke back a little bit more on the stick. If you look at John Dunn, who plays for Slot, like he, he, he chokes way back on the stick and that's, he's got like this beautiful, sweet, kind of light touch and that's, that's his thing. Don't be afraid to experiment. Um, if that works for you, fine. For myself, because I've come from more of a snare drumming background, it's just natural for me to kind of choke right up on the stick and use a lot of this kind of wrist and finger type motion, striking the drum straight in on the center, typically on the center of the head, and getting that tone pushing right through the drum. So you got this, this kind of motion. with a snare drum stick, you know, you've got this, you're, it's, it's like, you know, it's arm, but it's also wrist and fingers, and you got this kind of snap. What I always try kind of try and tell people is like, picture, uh, you know, fly fishing or something where you've got, you know, you kind of snap it out. Kind of snap it out. It's kind of the same thing with the bass drum mallets and, I see a lot of people talking about, you know, when they're when they're uh, striking the drum, this kind of downward feathering, the, the kind of feathering technique. I think a lot of people misconstrue the arm movements with striking the drum on a downward angle. You're not really going to get great tone coming off the drum that way. How big your arms mo arm motion goes and and what have you, a lot of that depends on what how you're incorporating the visuals. If you're playing jig time, you want, might want to get this big kind of arm, arm movement, same with the kind of stress bay stuff. Um, I tend to be nowadays a little bit tighter in my playing, but again, the actual mechanics of hitting uh, the drum with the stick are very much this kind of wrist and finger motion. Very important to kind of get that. What you need to keep in mind if you're incorporating some of these big arm movements, a la SFU, a la Inverary, some some of these great bands that you see really incorporate the big arm visuals with the bass drummer. You still want to be able to come in and strike the drum kind of straight into the into the drum head so you're getting that tone you're pushing that air through the drum to create that tone 